All right, guys, your buddy Kintips here. I would love to thank PQ for providing me a review code for this game, Magnum Lord. All right, so let me get to the game. So the game is really, it's, the, it's like almost three, four different games in one. Okay, so first things first. You have your visual novel aspect, and then you have a RPG, um, alchemy sort of uh, uh, scenario, and then you got um, a JRPG uh, aspect to it where you level up your characters, and then build a party, um, and then you got quests and all these things that go all along. So it's it's like a mishmash of four games in one. Now it's not a bad thing, okay? So this is it's actually really good. So if you love all those aspects of a of a JRPG, it's all in here. So. You don't you're not gonna lose out you're all you're all gonna get it in here okay so this is why the game is actually really good uh you'll love it if you're a visual novel fan you're a jrpg person you'll love this game uh it reminds me like uh of tales uh games when they first came out on like the snes where you, you would go into a battle and then you would be side scrolling fighting basically so it's it's like that guys so let's uh, let's get to the game. So the game uh, you choose between a, a female uh, female or a male character, um, and the dialogue will change depending on which one you choose, and also your choices will change. So there's there's replayability. So because it has the visual no novel aspect, you will get to choose between which dialogue options you get to, uh, you want, and also your dialogue dialogue options will also give you three different ratings for certain choices like you can get cool you can get demonic um so diff it depends on which way you want to go <laughs> in your choices with those choices the it will change the way you sort of react to your other uh, partners and companions and there's this little like um, what do you call it like a persona uh, aspect to the game as well okay Alright, so in the battles, you actually go up to an enemy and then you will go into a battle, which is a side-scrolling battle, very similar to like the first Tales games and things like that. Um, so, and you can, you know, you have magic, you can do magic, There's, you got some equipment, you can get uh, better weapons, things like that. All that basic stuff is here, better gear, so you get into a side-scrolling fight, and uh, yeah, so you get to get loot. So there's a lot of looting in this game as well, So because you can get better weapons. So this is what drives you. So gameplay, what drives you is to get better weapons, get your stats up, become OP. Okay? So that's pretty much um, the, uh, the fighting aspect of the game. So, so the storyline though, is basically, it's, it's quite simple. The storyline is uh, you are a demon lord, and uh, basically you lost a fight, uh, and you wake up uh, resurrected and the world has changed basically uh, you're now a endangered species and you're trying to rebuild your uh, your your levels your strength all that stuff and uh, that's pretty much it and hopefully you can do get some payback on some of those people that uh, tried to kill you that's pretty much it that's the storyline guys so when you're creating like swords and creating a lot of like alchemy things, uh, you can get like triple S, you can get legendary, so, but you need a lot of um, drops, like monster drops and things that you would pick up in a dungeon to craft these things. So there's a lot of crafting, a lot of like uh, awesome things to like get your stats up to become OP. So uh, a lot of grinding, that, that would be the better word. So now you don't have to do the grinding because uh, like, you can plow through a lot of the enemies without having the best weapons, but it does make your life easier and it does make you feel like a badass, so. Yeah, so in this game you'll eventually pick up partners and you can use them in your, in your, uh, in your dungeons and things like that, so. There's a lot of things you can do in this game, guys. Uh, so, 
sound quality, it's good. It's all dialogue, it's all narrated, it's all in voice, Japanese voice and English subtitles. Um, the game has great sound. The music is, you know, well, like any other JRPG sort of music. Uh, it's not too catchy, but it gets the job done. The graphics are good. Um, yeah, it, they're nice, uh, you know. It's nice graphics, you know, nice. Um, the battle scenes could use a little bit more work, but, you know, I'm not being too picky. It is it is a, it is a good, like, visual novel. Like, I think the, base, the main base game here is the visual novel aspect. Uh, the grinding and all the cool stuff is just, like, to get yourself OP. Uh, does the job, like, it's, not, it's pretty good, so. Um, yeah, alright, let's uh, move on to my final verdict. Alright, so the gameplay is pretty good. Um... You know, you, you, there's different buttons for your action, and, and it's like, think of it like, like I said, Tales of, uh, t original Tales games. Let's think of it like that, with more of a plot element and visual novel. Um, gameplay is good, it works well, the, the, uh, the graphics are good, um... Yeah, you know, so the gameplay is, like I said, like a Tales game. So you're just basically fighting enemies uh, and the side scrolling. But you can get you can get super awesome magic and stuff like that uh, when you level up. So it does get really cool. Okay. So the thing I don't like about the game is that uh, there is to get into the um, to the like the fights, not the fights, but like to the uh, dungeon sections. There's a there's a little bit of loading. Like, um, yeah, like, it's not long, but there's a little bit of loading, and, uh, it can be, a, be an issue, so I'll show you how long the loading is. Yeah, so as you can see, guys, the uh, loading time is a uh, little long, but it's not bad. So how would I rate this game? I I like this game. I give it a nine out of ten. I'm, but I'm really into like JRPG games. I love this these type of games. Definitely pick it up, guys. I already have a physical copy of this game pre-ordered because the game is that good and. The game is actually pretty big, so I like to save a lot of my micro SD card slot uh, uh, space for games that you can't get phys physical. But uh, PQ is actually give, uh, is, is actually going to make this game physical, so I'm going to, and you can get it for the PS4 as well. Uh, this is a Nintendo Switch version. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get the physical copy. This game is good. I like it. You can have lots of replayability. There's a lot of crafting. You can get OP. Definitely check it out, guys. Uh, like I said, solid 9 out of 10. If you have any questions, comments, guys, post below. Subscribe to the channel.